watch you smile. This book's written by Rita Phillips Mitchell and it's illustrated by Alex Aliff. What a great picture, great smiles. They're even smiling with their eyes. Now this book's all about smiling and how it can be contagious. The gotcha smile. Today was a special day for Clarine. It was her first day in her new school. Clarine wanted to make lots of friends. Children, this is Clarine, our new pupil, said Miss Green. The morning started with painting. I like to draw people best, said Clarine. This is my mum. Hey, said Lisa. You dropped my arm and made me mess up my picture. Oh, I didn't mean to, cried Clarine. At playtime, Miss Green took Clarine outside. Lisa, look after Clarine, please. She doesn't know anyone yet, so let her join in with you. But Lisa ran off to play with her friends. on her way home. Why? What happened today? Asked her mum. I didn't make any friends, said Clarine. Ha oh, ha, that'll come soon enough, said mum. And remember, I'll always be your friend. You're different. I mean friends who are little like me. On my first day at school, her mum told her, I shared my apples with another little girl. Her name was Pam. Ooh, a bit like Pam's spice, maybe. The next day at playtime, Corrine got out a bag of shiny red cherries her mum had given her. Do you want some of my cherries? She called to Lisa and her friends. Quick as a flash, the little crowd gathered around her, pushing and calling out for cherries. And now I've lots of friends, she said to herself. But soon the cherries were all gone, and so were the new friends. How was school today? Asked her dad that evening, and Clarine told him about the cherries. Uh, a little chatterbox like you will make friends in no time, just wait and see, said her father. How did you make friends when you were little, Dad? She asked. Her father smiled. Well, I had this special ball, and I took it everywhere. So when I started school, it came to, and all the boys wanted to play with me. The next day, Corrine took a ball to school with her. At playtime, she bounced the ball around. She bounced it so high it went on the roof. Oh, I've lost my ball, said Corrine to Samantha. Can I play with you? Later, said Stuart. We're in the middle of a game now. But Corrine caught their ball and ran off. They chased her round and round until Corrine gave it back. What's the matter with my little schoolgirl? Asked Clarine's grandpa that afternoon. I'm not a schoolgirl anymore, grandpa, said Clarine. Because I'm never going back. And Clarine told him about the boys. Oh, running off with their ball isn't going to make friends, said grandpa. I won't go back, said Clarine. No one wants to play with me. Well, now let me see, said Clarine's grandpa. When I was little, I had the brightest smile you ever did see. And when I shot that smile at anyone, they just had to shoot one like that. I used to call it my gotcha smile. Why don't you give it a try? I could try smiling, said Corinne. Sure, said her grandpa. And you know what? You have a gotcha smile too. When you smile at me, I can't do anything else but smile right back. Both Clarine and Grandpa started to chuckle and chuckle. Then Clarine's Grandpa said, Look, Clarine, why don't you go back to school and finish off the week, hey? Just for me. All right, I'll go back just for you, said Clarine. That's my girl, said Grandpa. The next day at playtime, Corrine watched some children playing basketball. Suddenly the ball came flying towards her and she caught it in her arms as Glenn came chasing, chasing after it. Without thinking, Corrine shot Glenn her gotcha smile. Can I have a go? She asked. Okay, go on then, said Glenn. Corrine bounced the ball. One, two, three. 
Then she threw it as high as she could, whack, and the, the ball went right through the net. <coughs> Great! shouted everyone. Come and play on our side! shouted Lisa. Then Clarine remembered what her grandpa had told her and she shot her a gotcha smile at Lisa. Would you believe it? Lisa fired one right back. I'm sorry I spoiled your picture the other day. I just wanted to be your friend, said Clarine. Well, I'd like to be your friend too, said Lisa. That afternoon, Grandpa was waiting for Clarine at the school gates. I like school, Grandpa, and even when I'm as old as you are, I'll still keep right on going, said Clarine. The gotcha smile worked then, did it? He said. And guess what, Grandpa? I found a friend who has a gotcha smile too. Her name is Lisa. Oh, Grandpa and Clarine smiled their very biggest gotcha smiles. Oh, look at all the cherries, aren't they beautiful? Oh, a little bookshelf. What a great story, the gotcha smile.